Just seeing Brad and Carrie do their thing, it, they're always hilarious. Mark these words, Luke Bryan, Miranda Lambert, taking the cake. That's what country music does. They write songs. These, these people around us write songs that move you. They, they transform your life. They, they're better than movies. Big night, a lot of stars. You just heard from a few. Those are a couple of the comments we heard downtown tonight during the show. Welcome, everybody, to the Fox 17 CMA Red Carpet Special. Big night. We have team coverage of tonight's CMA Awards. As you can see, Fox 17's Megan O'Halloran live on the red carpet for us tonight. We will join her in just a second. But first, we want to take a look at a couple of the really big winners tonight. Tail end of the show, Luke Bryan wins the Entertainer of the Year, and it was such a special moment for him. He got to meet Garth Brooks for the first time. Also, Blake Blake Shelton, he wins again for Male Vocalist of the Year. And Blake Shelton's first lady, Miranda Lambert, wins Female Vocalist of the Year. How about that? Let's check in with Megan now to see what's happening. Megan? Well, Scott and Stacy, right now all of the excitement is picking up for those after awards parties. A lot to celebrate tonight, especially if you're Brett Eldridge. He took home the CMA New Artist of the Year. We caught up with him just moments ago after the big win. Here's what he had to say. This year has been incredible, and, and uh, I'm still trying to soak it in. I need, I, I need to take a day tomorrow and just do nothing and uh, throw a party or something. I don't know what I'm going to do, but, but I just want to share it with the people that really helped me because I couldn't have done it without so many people, and, and uh, this is amazing. Brett Eldridge said he will be out late tonight celebrating. Now, normally the winners share very heartfelt uh, speeches after they take home the big W, but Casey Musgrave, she won the song of the year tonight. She uh, revealed a little more of an unusual moment. Take a look. Right before I sang, my panties totally came off. <laughs> You're what? I, I haven't even told them this. They were the stick on kind, because look at this dress. You can't, there's not much to work with. So they were stuck on, and then they weren't stuck on, and the curtain was about to come up. So literally, I had to rip them off and throw them to the side. They're somewhere around here. So just in case you see them, they're mine. Well, we've been talking about the winners all night. We'll have more on who took home the trophies in just a bit, but more on how those crystal statues are made. Turns out it's a long process, 11 months, in fact. Take a look at how they're made. Their tense moments on live television. And the CMA Award for Entertainer of the Year goes to... George Strait. It is a priceless moment, a milestone for any country singer to walk away a winner and go home with the trophy. What? It's 11 pounds of pure crystal. It takes three days to make each trophy, and it all starts in Italy. The glass is melted down, rolled out, and then glass blowers pour it into the famous bullet-shaped molds. From there, the trophies are shipped to a factory in Michigan where they put the metal CMA emblem on, and then they head to Nashville where they're kept until the day of the CMAs. Elizabeth Griggs is in charge of delivering the trophies to Bridgestone Arena, and that makes her VIP. One year, she was even mistaken for being one of the stars. So we pull up in this black van, and there's fans everywhere, and they're like, who's that, who's that? And I get out, and they're like, who is this? Who? I don't know who this is. Once the awards make it to Bridgestone Arena safely, Griggs guards them with her life. And then we take them backstage, and then I sit with them all day through rehearsal, through everybody coming around, getting dressed, all that. Since the CMA Awards show launched 48 years ago, there have been a few, well, minor mishaps along the way. This is the infamous story of the year that the CMA Awards went missing. Several years back, Larry Lusky was in charge of watching the awards, and it was the same year President George W. Bush decided to attend the show at the very last minute. I walk into the, uh, what I think is the manager's office to find the awards. The Secret Service says, can we help you? I said, I'm Larry. I'm here to pick up the bullets. Bullets? And he uh, said, come in, sit down for a little bit. An hour and a half later, after me explaining that the CMA Awards, since they're shaped like a bullet, were affectionately known as a bullet, they told us that the awards had all been relocated. And that compares to another little scare. The year the awards arrived at the building late and had to be rushed in by police escort. 
Despite detours and delays, the trophies always show up in time to put in the star's hands. Thank you so much. This means the world to me. I appreciate it. And here's another little interesting fact. All those trophies you saw the stars hold tonight on stage, those are not the real trophies. They're really just stage props for photographs and interviews. The real trophies are being sent off for engraving and then they will be shipped back. Let's take a look at the list of several other winners. Let's head back to Scott and Stacy for more. Thank you, Megan. Well, the CMAs honor the best in country music, so let's see which music is a big winner tonight. Miranda Lambert, it was her night uh, winning Album of the Year for the record Platinum. Fantastic. And Miranda also takes home the award for Single of the Year for Automatic Love, that song. Mm -hmm. And uh, the song Follow Your Arrow, that one song of the year. That trophy always goes to the songwriters. Casey Musgrave, she was great at the show tonight. Brandi Clark, who I am crazy about, is both a songwriter and an artist. And Shane McAnally. I just love him. That's CMA new artist nominee Cole Swindell singing his song, Hope You Get Lonely Tonight. He was up for his first nomination. He was kind enough to let us go behind the scenes with him as he got ready for the big award show tonight. Take a look. This is the first time a song of his has ever been played on the radio. Cole Swindell came crashing onto the country music scene. Self-titled CD is in stores today. Ladies and gentlemen, Cole Swindell. Yeah, I got my shades on top, back rolling with the music jack. One on the wheel, one around you, baby. But Swindell's career didn't start suddenly, and his success didn't come this easy. I was friends with Luke Bryan, and he just so happened to need a merch guy, so and I needed a job so he took me out one weekend and I didn't come off the road for probably three years so it was you know being around those fans and watching a new artist come up out there that was experience I didn't even know I was getting at the time. Cole started out selling t-shirts and writing songs and after years of being behind the scenes he's stepping out on his own now it's finally his time to shine. I like it in here. It smells good. Right in. Cole Swin. Hey, hey. Good to see you. Just uh, nominated for uh, New Artist of the Year for the CMA Awards. I can't no believe big... that. You can't help but love his sweet southern charm, and it shows through in all of his interviews. In the Taste of Country Lounge with Cole Swindell. Cole, you are looking great. Hi, thank you. It's uh, a little, The weather's cooling off here in, in Nashville, so I uh, had to... Put on a little flannel this morning. But you're still humble. You still dress yourself and pick out what you're going to wear, right? Yeah, yeah I, I, I try to, man. It's, laundry is about all I get to do when I'm home these days. So <laughs> I just sometimes I just have to find what's clean. So. After spending time on the road opening for Luke Bryan, Cole is getting ready to head out on his very first headlining tour. And while he's still getting used to his newfound fame, he wishes his father could be around to see it. Cole's dad unexpectedly passed away last year. You know, I know he would want me to be out here and just doing what I love to do, and he got to see me get my record deal before, uh, before I lost him. So that really keeps me going, and I'm just thankful I had him for as long as I did. Bouncing back from one of the worst things that could have ever happened to him last year, Cole landed on his feet and says 2014 has been the best year of his life. After two back-to-back -back number one singles, He's expected to top the charts again. Yeah, and this has been a absolute dream come true. So my fans, you know, all the support they're giving me, it keeps me keeps me grounded and lets lets me know that uh, you know, hopefully I'm doing something right. He is always in that Georgia Southern hat. We are so excited for you, Cole. He hits the road next Thursday for his headlining down home tour, and it hits 11 states before wrapping up just before Christmas. Let's take things now back to the studio with Scott and Stacy. All right, Megan, thank you. And a couple folks didn't have to wait until the big awards show tonight to find out they'd won. That's because the CMA actually announced two categories early this morning. Well, the first people to wake up as winners, what a way to wake up, right? Were Dirks Bentley and director Wes Edwards. They won the award for music video of the year for Drunk on a Plane. Love that song. Oh, great video, too. And the er other early bird winners today were Keith Urban and Miranda Lambert. They took home the trophies for music event of the year for their song, We Were Us. Well, CMA Awards Show, easily the biggest awards show in Nashville every year. Only on Fox 17, a behind-the-scenes look at what it really takes to pull off a show like this.